my dear viewers you are most welcome to elo jaledi 2 mathematics channel and thanks for watching tonight i brought you this math trick and a math trick series so if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe turn on the notification button so that you are notified whenever i upload a new video like and share let us now dive in the question is can you solve for x in this expression so let us look at the response remember we have the 64 divided by x squared equals to the x squared divided by 64 from this step our first step should be cross multiplication so we are going to cross multiply say that we have the x squared multiplying the other x squared equals to the 64 multiplied by 64 as we simplify this the same as having x to power 4 equals to the 64 squared on the left hand side you have x raised to power 4 equals to 64 is the same as having 8 raised to power 2 but we have another power which is a 2 implying that we have our x power 4 equals to by rules of indices if you have not yet watched uh, the videos about indices i'm going to leave the link in the description you can tap on it and watch the videos about indices so in here it's the same as having 8 raised to power 4 in that they multiply they just multiply themselves so in here to get the value of x what we are going to do we are going to take the fourth root on both sides we introduce the fourth root on both sides of the equal sign so whereby we have the four power x being equal to the eight raised to power four so we are introducing the fourth root on both sides and as we introduce the fourth root we have put plus or minus as in for like the square root so from here on the left hand side we are going to have the x raised to power four the fourth root is same as multiplied by the multiplied by a quarter or one out of four equals to so this is the same as having plus or minus the eight raised to power four but multiplied by a quarter whereby we are going to have on the left hand side x raised to power one equals to the plus or minus the eight raised to power one therefore we can say that the values of x are x equals to the negative eight and still x equals to the positive eight from here we can try to prove whether it is correct so proof or proof remember i have 64 divided by x squared to be equal to the x squared divided by 64 so let us consider for x equals to the negative 8 on the left hand side we are going to have the 64 divided by negative 8 but squared so this is equal to the 64 divided by 64 which gives us a 1 implying that on the left hand side we have 1 what about on the right hand side still checking for when x equals to the negative 8 on the right hand side remember we have x squared divided by 64 so this is equal to x is negative 8 but it is squared divided by 64 implying that we are going to have the 64 divided by 64 which gives us a 1 and this one is the same as the one on the left hand side of the equal sign also we can try to test for when x equal to positive 8 remember we have our expression as 64 divided by x squared equals to x squared divided by 64 so for x equaling to 8 on the left hand side we are going to have the 64 divided by the x which is 8 but squared in here we are getting the 64 divided by 64 which gives us a 1 on the left hand side then on the right hand side remember we have the x squared divided by 64 as we substitute for x equals to 8 we are going to have 8 squared divided by the 64 which gives us the 64 divided by 64 and the answer we yield is 1 therefore for these values which are the x equals to the negative 8 and x equals to the positive 8 are very correct let us have method 2 that one could also use to get the values of x so remember we have the 64 divided by x squared equals to the x squared divided by 64 from here one can decide to bring the one on the left hand side or on the right hand side to be on the left hand side so this i mean one could just get 64 divided by the x squared 
minus the x squared divided by 64 should be equal to the 0. Then from here, 1 could go ahead and get the LCM, which is 64x squared. Then 64x squared divided by x squared, we are getting 64, but multiply by this numerator, which is 64, minus the 64x squared divided by 64, we get x squared, but multiply by the numerator, which is x squared, to give us x raised to the power 4 should be equal to a 0. As we proceed, it implies that we are having the 64 raised to power 2 minus the x raised to the power 4 divided by 64 x squared equals to 0. From here, by cross multiplication, we are going to have the 64 squared minus x raised to the power 4 equals to 0. From here, we can simplify. We can have 64 squared minus 64 squared minus the x power 4 equals to the negative 64 by squared. So we have the negative x power 4 equals to the negative 64 squared. To eliminate the negative, we can divide it through by the negative 1 on both sides. Say that we have x raised to power 4 equals to the 64 squared. This same as having x raised to power 4 equal to the 8 raised to power 4, whereby as area alone, the value of x could be equal to the positive or minus the 8. And thanks for watching. See you again in the next tutorial. Goodbye and endeavor to subscribe for more videos. See you again.